Hey, what's going on, weavers? Thank you for joining me. And you know those little accessory lanyards that come with tech gadgets like cameras and other electronics? Now they're fine for what they are, but they can tend to break or you might not even just like the look of them. Well, fear not, here is a DIY paracord solution. I'm going to be showing you two styles. Let's go. I'm starting with a piece of micro cord and you can adjust this piece to the length you desire, of course. Now, if you're lazy, you can just tie a simple overhand knot at the end here. Just make a loop with both strands and pull the ends through. But if you want to be a little extra, you can tie a double snake knot. I'll show you here with some 550 so it's easier to see. Holding my cords like so, I'm going to wrap the top cord around the bottom cord. Then take the bottom cord and wrap it over and around the first cord and then through the loop you just created. So I just tied a snake knot and to make it a double snake knot, I'm just going to double up the loops. The top cord goes through the loop a second time. Turn the piece over and do the same for the other strand doubling it up. Cinch it up and there's the double snake knot. So do the same exact method with your micro cord. Now to make our lanyard, I've got my piece of 550 paracord and like before, I'm going to tie a single snake knot. And with the right cord, I'm going to wrap it around the left cord. The left cord is going to move behind to the right, wrap around the opposite cord, and then go through the first loop created. We're going to partially cinch that knot up, leaving it loose. And you can double check the length of your lanyard here, make sure it's large enough for your wrist. Now using my spike, I just want to show you the space going right through the middle of the snake knot. Then with my piece of micro cord from earlier, I'm going to pass the looped end through the middle of the snake knot. Then tighten up that first knot. With that done, I'm just going to proceed to tie two more knots. Same method as before, wrap the right cord around the left including the micro cord in the middle and then the left cord wraps around the right and through the first loop. So I tied three snake knots in total, but you can tie more or less if you want. I'd suggest a minimum of two and if you want more, use more cord. So after the snake knots have been tied, all I have to do now is snip off the excess micro cord just above the double snake knot. Melt with the lighter and then press down on the ends. Then for the 550 strands, snip the excess off, melt and then press down on them to lock them in place. So that is the snake knot version, but before I add to some tech, here's a cobra knot variation. With another piece of 550 paracord, I'm going to work with the same length and then have the running ends pointing up. And with the right cord, make an overhand loop with the cord resting on the opposite cord. Then the left cord goes over the right cord, behind the core strands, and then through the loop on the right. Since that knot closed a bit, Then make a space in the middle of that knot and insert your piece of micro cord that's been looped like before, with the loop coming out up top. Then from there, I'm just going to continue tying cobra knots. The now left cord passes over the front and the right cord lays over that one. Then behind the core strands and out the crook on the left. I then tied a total of five cobra knots. Then from there, we just snip off the excess cords, melt them and press down on them to lock them in place. And for the melted ends here on the Cobra Knots, I'm going to color in those white dots with a Sharpie marker to make it look a lot cleaner. And there we have it. Our tech lanyards are complete. 
You can even use this as a cell phone lanyard if you have a case on your phone that can loop the lanyard in between the holes for the charging port and speakers. Just push the loop of micro cord through the lanyard holes and then pull the rest of the lanyard back through the looped end. And this is secure enough to prevent accidental drops or if you have a piece of tech that has those small holes for a lanyard, you can now replace it with stronger paracord and micro cord lanyard. So for any piece of tech that you have that has those small holes for a lanyard, you can now replace it with this stronger paracord and micro cord lanyard.